you guys it's your girl my Chantel, but you know me as just maya and i am back with another video by the title of this video you already know what your girl is about to be doing this is something like so totally like different for me so i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this knitted like sweater y'all honestly i am surprised at myself because this was like like the second time I knitted something, I sewn something, I knitted. This was like the second time I sewn something. The first time I sewn something was these pants that I never actually like wore, but they are like blanket pants. And I did them. They're actually like pretty much like too long. The measurements were off. I only see you guys, I'm not a professional at it. I just do what I can do and try to finesse it. Yeah. So I hope you guys really enjoy this type of content for me. If you like it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to your girl. If you haven't already, make sure you leave some comments below. Let me know how you feel in this sweater. And I will see you guys. And let's go ahead and start making this sweater. All right, y'all. So the first thing you want to do is have a blanket. You can find blankets at Goodwill, at any type of thrifting store. And they're so cheap. You can get them for like $2, $3. But any type of blanket, that's what you need. So as you can see right now, I'm just spreading this blanket out um, across the floor. And you want this blanket to be as flat as possible. You don't want it to be like squinch up or anything. You want it as flat as possible. So you can take any type of hoodie, any type of shirt, whatever thing that you're trying to recreate i'm doing a sweater here so i'm taking a sweater that's like three times my size and um i'm gonna create as you see i'm just showing you guys that i'm gonna cut an outline out of this um hoodie um i did three times my size because as you know blanket material does not stretch so i did not want to use my sweater and then this um blanket sweater be tight on me so i wanted it to kind of fit loose and that's why i'm using this huge sweater y'all but right now i'm just showing you guys the outline of how you would cut it if you was to outline like a sweater or a hoodie of your own guys again i decided to put this sweater um on this part of the blanket because i felt like if i would have cut it on the other side um i wouldn't like the pattern so i'm gonna use this house as you can see that's gonna be the basis of my front and my back of the sweater so as you can see i'm going like an inch outside of this sweater and i'm gonna basically outline that's all you do you just cutting this outline of a sweater like that's it y'all is so this part is literally the easiest part once i finish cutting out the outline for my front of the sweater i'm going to basically cut the back of the sweater out now and um now what you're seeing now is me just basically looking at my sleeve because this is literally the leftover material that i had and i'm using um, my sweater to basically measure how my sleeve will fit to that sweater so i'm cutting this piece of material to fit where the sleeve material will be as you can see i'm outlining it showing you guys and this is me cutting it guys i was so nervous because i thought i didn't have enough um material for sleeves so right now I'm thinking like, oh my God, the sleeve is not going to fit because it's too tight across my arm. Y'all, I didn't even realize like I had my sweater on. Like, I, it was just a whole lot of mess. I was late. I mean, I was up late trying to do this. So my mom was gone at this point. But um, I'm going to use this piece right here also and cut out the other sleeve. So I'm going to use this as a measurement, as a pattern for the other sleeve.
this is how this is how it is fitting it's loose how i want it um i'm so happy about this part right here because um i didn't want the shoulders to be all the way up here because my arms are a little bit i feel like they're big but they're not really that big but this is fitting nice so when i sew my shoulders on it's going to be super long now that i'm looking at it but this is fitting real nice the only thing i can say is you guys can't see but this bottom is long so i'm going to probably cut the bottom so they can probably fit like right here so this is a sleeve that i did already y'all i did it on the wrong side it's actually the sweater is actually on this let me show y'all okay so this is just what i did this is the sleeve i did is on the wrong side this is actually the side that the sleeve was supposed to be on the right side of the blanket and this is the wrong side um but i felt like this probably what do y'all think this would go hard with the sweater uh i feel like because it's cut right here and i gotta sew it it probably would have thrown off my stitching a little bit I don't know, I feel like it would've went hard, but it probably wouldn't. So I am going to keep it as this one. And I did this by mistake. So I'm gonna keep it as this side. Then I actually thought about doing opposite sides, but um, I don't know. So I may just go ahead and sew it so it could be like this. So that can kind of flow a little bit better. This can flow a little better and then tie that out. So guys, a couple of things I wanted to point out about this sweater was A, um, my measurements for my sleeves were totally off like you see how long it is but i like that though i like that it's long it gives this sweater character and i like that i like when clothes have a character and it gives this sweater some type of character to it it's like long and it's look my hand is like really right here so this was let's get hold on wait, wait wait let's get into my mistakes so making the sweater sleeve this long was actually a mistake and that goes back to like my measurements were off. So as you can see, my shoulder actually stops right here. And so my sleeve for my arm is actually down here. But had I sewn the sweater up, it, it the, the sleeves would have most definitely matched. But my shoulders would have been extremely tight. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this was like a blessing in disguise that I made this part actually way bigger. I don't know how I did that. And my sleeves actually start down here but which the downfall of it is it makes the actual sleeve longer than what it should have been what what it should have been but i actually like that now that i have it on i actually like that another mistake was my sewing right here it actually just kind of grew i actually missed and ripped that but i this can be fixable where i could just go in and sew that down but i just was too lazy and i was tired and i didn't want to do that so I didn't sew it down, but it actually gives my armpit some kind of like air to go in there because this sweater is pretty darn hot. Yep, see? And the same thing goes for this one. Like my measurements was off. So when I sewn it, um, I just stopped on the armpits. I don't know why I did both of the armpits like that, but I stopped, especially right here. As you can see, this could be fixed, but it's not. I didn't end up fixing it. Another part that I seen that kind of like I thought I messed up on was the head piece. The, I mean, the next part, I thought that, you know, it could have been better, but it comes up like, it gives like that look like that. So I kind of like it. It all worked out, honestly. And then of course, in the video, I know you guys probably can't see right here, but the sweater was like extremely long. Hold on. The sweater was extremely long, so I had to cut it and it's giving like, it's giving your girl a fringe look. So that was the only other part to this. And as you can see how, look how long my sleeves is. So it's giving like a crop sweater look. All in all, this sweater took about, I wanna say six, seven hours. I don't know guys, it took hours. I'm not no professional, nor am I striving to be. I'm just showing you guys, if you ever wanna make a sweater, this is how I did mine, I like it. Uh, this sweater is actually backwards, by the way. So in the video, as you can see, it was supposed to be like this dark green, but I didn't think like it would, like if I would have sewn this as the sleeves, it would have gone. I think the white, the white came out perfect. And that's the sweater. So yeah, y'all, that's how... I sewn my sweater first time he sewing a sweater. So a blanket sweater at that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like it. I got some pictures check those out drop down in the comment section below make sure you go ahead and follow me on all my social medias 
and interact with your girl like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video Thank you.